Hello, this is Lydia Bandera. Welcome to my channel. Today I decided to try a game that I had in my library for a while, which is um, Life is Strange. Now, I did try it in the, in the past. I didn't play very long. I can't remember what it is about. All I know is it is a Square Enix. I love Square Enix games, most of the time, at least. Uh, and from what I heard, uh, it is an amazing a, a really amazingly beautiful game so uh, I happen to have all the episodes here so I'm gonna try this game I just want to make sure settings video settings gamma screen advanced okay that's perfect yes I hi hi everything is in high oh, okay that's what I wanted to make sure perfect so let's start a new game I had one save that had like 10 minutes or something uh, in it but I want to play a brand new one I want to try it from scratch because I don't remember anything <laughs> honestly life is strange is a story based game that features player choices the consequence of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past present and future choose wisely okay <laughs> holy shit that was loud in my ears <laughs> I think I'm gonna lower my, my sound a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. It wasn't the maximum, so it could explain why it was that loud. <laughs> oh my god, the quality of the picture is... I'm seriously so loud, I don't even How hear my I microphone hear? anymore. I hope and where is here? Seems to be active. Okay. <gasps> Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Oh, you can, you can. Please let me make it there. Oh, yeah, you will. Is it me? Do I need to? Can I move with this? Awesome! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Where's the lighthouse again? Here, okay. Can I run? Can't run. Nope. Love the graphics. I strangely really don't remember that at all. I can tell that the camera play is going to get on my nerves. That's fine. I just need to be careful not to spin it around too much. Holy shit. Oh god. Um. How about ah! No. Whoa. Oh, nightmare. That was so surreal. Oh, thank God. Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography. I'm going to keep okay. with the I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, um, right? And frankly, why? Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Stupid mouse! In a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Sorry about that. Okay, that's not Isn't cool. That too, easy? too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their as beauty? As much or as I would love to do that. She had a brilliant eye. 
Okay, can I do it she with this then? I have to. Why? Admit, I'm not. Look at this crap. Oh, okay. How fuck. can I show this to Mr. Too bad Jackson? for a mouse. I can hear the class laughing at me now. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victor. I can't believe I still have this he pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And it was but I like it old school. But a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains My little camera bag is battered, but still news. kicking. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October 1st, my f October, my favorite month, the weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tin flames. But it's still too damn hot, thanks global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmospheres of, sm of small towns. The last time I wore an Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash or I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love turning me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Okay, I'm not gonna read it out loud, out loud completely. I'm pretty sure it's just. If you want to read it, you can press pause. So that's Max, that's Kate, Jefferson, Victoria, do, can I click? Okay. And if you haven't changed sh If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Okay, so that's I guess stuff I can unlock. I can text their parents. Oh, maybe not text. I can read it. Hey, capturing the rope. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mantic oh, urban okay. solitude of the twentieth century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true renaissance. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <laughs> has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been oh, popular you know since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. That now, guy Max, on the right doesn't seem since very Since you've focused. captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. So 
sad face. Oh, Very good, boy. Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first Sorry, American Max. No more selfies right now. Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Okay, chess hey guys, is over. Don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, so... Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow, that girl has money. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hi, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I only want to share whatever gifts I have in the world. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. <laughs> we love your porn video. <gasps> oh my god, this is hilarious. She thinks she's the best ever. She's doing huh, porn. This might make a cool shot. Okay. Is there anything else I can look at? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The okay. Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't... Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Yeah, especially blah, blah, blah. You have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Oh, okay. So I can't really do anything else here. Maybe at the end of the school here. Poster! Look! I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Nice. That was amazing Sorry. when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, 
It was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, photo equipment. Look. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, Not I'm such a photo nerd. nerd. Yeah, you are, but that's cool. That's perfect. I'm actually already getting used to the, the controls here. Wait, this? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Well, if you're in photography, I dare to hope that you're ready. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome always... to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Oh my god. I'll splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Right. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. That's it? Driving a car okay. by the seaside, watching yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. <laughs> That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I should have been. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh, good. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. What's going on? I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Is it the same person? Oh no, that's another person. I wish October would last forever. Can I, can I take something to drink? They should just call it a sugar machine. Uh, I guess not. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Okay, it's the same girl. Good thing I left my AK at home. Walking around my own place. It oddly feels like school for real. There's a missing person advertisement here. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club dis figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Till she got tired to come she said she wanted a bathroom break, so here we go. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Why would you melt down, girl? Come now who on. would bother to write that crap? Okay. Uh, can I use a bathroom? Guess not. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I ate Victoria Chase. This poster must drive people to have sex. <laughs> I 
Oh gosh. Well, am I like walking into the wall? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, come on. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around oh, with. Oh shit. What are you doing? Don't do Come that, on, buddy. Put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> Shit. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Whoa. These pieces Is she able to turn back time? I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. I did now. it. Can you I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the entire machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Dang freak it. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally. Still the same stupid picture. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Of course, it's for real. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh, I know God. I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, 
Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? This is creepy. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process oh, made portraiture she's hugely unhappy. Popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes. Screw this. I'm not gonna talk to you, buddy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't oh, darn it. think about leaving here until we talk about your interest. Oh, darn it. I'm in a hurry, buddy. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, I'm not avoiding it. I'm not sure if I have one. I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. Um, why would I want to do that? Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. E Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her mm -hmm. picture. Um, I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you, mister. Bye. Gotta go save the world or something. Open the door. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Of course you do. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I took my time. Okay, Max, so retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. And then the guy steps up. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing okay, around with! Okay, time to go, girl. What are you doing? 
Come on, put that ever. thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, well, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble. Max, for you're this. going to get hurt. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it. Oh, holy shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. No, 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 that no! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. My God, he's an ass. How do I get out of this? Can I? Yeah, I can exit. Okay. Um, sir? No, 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 not back. Thank you. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Yes, yeah, see, sir, I, I can turn back time, and I think I'm gonna report him. I just him. saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan yeah. Prescott. You sure? Yeah. Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's I think it? it's safer After for everyone. What I told we'll you? continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should hmm. I rewind and change my story? I don't think I'm gonna do that. My god, that's long. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. You look a little stressed out. Are you? Blah, 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 blah. I the truth. I just got sick in class. Um. Uh. Female trainer. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. Yeah. You've only been here for three it's weeks you. and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. 
No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. I guess I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Yeah, I think the other option was better. Why is it so slow? You look a little stressed out. Blah, 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 report. It's safer for everyone anyway. So blah, 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 blah. I'm not believing you, but uh, yeah, it's true. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this action will have consequences, but at least I'm not losing my scholarship. And people will be safer. There you go. That's a nice school. The graphics are amazing. Oh, there was a squirrel. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Ah, shit. Um, I found him. Shit. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. Oh, cute bird. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay, so. Yeah, this video is going on for over 30 minutes. I'm gonna stop it for now. And I'll just play it again another time and post it. Because I think this is gonna be a series. I'll keep playing. Uh, well, if you have any suggestions, any game you'd like me to try, please. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please click on like. You can also subscribe to my channel or share the channel or the videos with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!